All right. Hey, how you doing? Jason Marshall here. Some of you have asked, how can I set up uh, my doc camera at home? Um, it really helps me when I'm teaching and if I'm teaching math or science or what, any topic, any subject. I'd like to have my document camera so the kids can see me writing on, on paper or you know, pointing to things, whatever, whatever you use it for. So um, there's a way we can do this easily using your iPad or an iPhone. So all I've done is I've, I've plugged in my device. I've, I've set it up, elevated in a way that it's looking down at my counter and I have it open to the camera app. So it's open on the screen. So let me show you a couple things first. If you, I'm gonna share my screen and show you that if I open up Google Chrome, I typed in DIY iPad stand and you get all kinds of ideas. There's all kinds of great ideas here. I like this one with a little, this little thing here with the little grates in it, that little, stand thing that's kind of cool i mean some of you have stuff like this at home i don't know i'll show you what i'm doing now, you know these are pretty cool setups um mine is not quite as fancy so i'm going to click on new share right now and i'm going to select first of all i want to select an image i took of how i've plugged in my ipad to my computer i just used the charging cable and i plugged it into my macbook that's the USB end. And then I'll show you what my nice setup looks like. There you go. So you can see it's plugged in. There's the, the charging cable plugged into the iPad. I have it on camera, just on the photo. It's on photo. It's resting on this mason jar and here's uh, what's being displayed. It, it isn't pretty, but it, it will work. Okay. So now I'm gonna switch over. I'm sharing again. I'm, I went to new share, it's at the top of my screen in Zoom. And I have multiple options, one of which is iPhone slash iPad via AirPlay. And then another one is iPhone slash iPad via cable. I'm choosing cable because I have it plugged in. So now when I share it, in a moment you will see my document camera. Here I am. All right, I'm working. If it was higher, I would have even more space to work with. But in a pinch, this could work. This is the Frida Kahlo puzzle that we might start working on pretty soon. Here's some pieces here. Kids, here's how you solve a puzzle. First of all, you turn all the pieces over. Then you pull all the pieces that have flat edges to one side, you know, whatever your strategy is. I group mine by color, right? Whatever, you, whatever you're teaching, there you go a document camera set up uh, is not too difficult. It doesn't have to be fancy. And um, I don't know, it seems like a decent, a decent way to make this happen. So if you have any questions, let me know and uh, keep up the good work.